Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we've seen how to add conditional formatting to a column based on the cell value. But what if I want to format column A based on the value in column C? So something like what you see here. We would be changing the color of the users here based on the value in column C. Or even adding the conditional formatting to the entire row in the table based on the value in a given column. So we're gonna see how to do all that in this video. So let's go back to the first workbook and I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear any rules here. So that's the starting table. Now let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. I have here the previous macro and I'm gonna leave the link of that video up here so check it out if you haven't seen it yet. So now we're gonna insert a new module and add another macro. This is gonna be add conditional formatting based on another value, something like that. Now, the beginning is gonna be very similar to the other macro. So we're gonna use, again, a collection to get the unique values in the column with the target values. And that's gonna be, let's call it value column, okay? That's, that's the column with the values that we want to check to add the formatting. In this example, is column C. And then we're gonna have the other column, the column where we want to apply the formatting. So that's gonna be formatting column as a range as well. And, and let's say that column is gonna be column A. So we're gonna highlight, so we're gonna apply formatting or a color to the names based on the class they belong to. And that's actually option one. We're gonna see first that, and then we'll see how to apply the formatting to the entire table. So let's set value column, as we said, it's gonna be columns C, and then the formatted column is gonna be column A. Then we're gonna delete any formatting conditions there, so format conditions delete, and then we're gonna get the first cell in the column with the values, and let's call it, for example, val reference, and that's gonna be cells row one column is gonna be val call dot column. And to get the address, we use dot address, but, but that returns the absolute address. To get the relative, we need to set the conditions for row to false and column to false as well. So that will give us something like, for this example, C1 instead of absolute C1 reference. Then we can start the loop as we did in the previous video. So for each cell in the column with values, which is val call, and again with the special cells, we're gonna get only the cell type constants. If cell.row is greater than one, to avoid adding conditional formatting to the first row if we have headers, then if my collection.item cell is nothing, then, and this is, again, I have explained that in the previous video, this is the way to get only the unique values. We're gonna add to the collection that value as an item and as a key, and again, we need to add error handling because that will prompt an error when trying to add the same value more than once. Then we're gonna have our, our variable to count the number of unique items that is also used as an index for each conditional formatting rule. And then with the formatted column, the column we want to format, which is column A, we're gonna add formatting conditions, but we're gonna use an expression. So the type is gonna be Excel expression. And the formula, so that will be the expression, and when that expression is true, it will apply the condition of formatting. That formula is gonna be, let's put it in a variable that I'm gonna call condition, for example. So up here, we're gonna set that condition, which is gonna be equal, so that's a formula, when the val reference, so the cell reference for that column equals 
And now we need to add double quotes. Inside the double quotes, so we gotta use CHR34, which is the code for double quotes. That's gonna be now the cell value. And then we're gonna close the double quotes. So that's gonna be something like this. Let me put it here. If C1 equals each of the values, so the first time that will be class one, the second time it will be class two, and so on. So that's actually the condition that we're gonna add there. Then when that condition is met, we're gonna change the color. So we're gonna select the conditional formatting rule and we're gonna change the interior with color index as we did in the previous video starting in 35, but you can use any other colors. Here we can now end the with statement and end the two if statements and move to the next cell. So now let's run it and see how that works. And as you see, we have formatted the names in column A based on the value in column C. Now, if we want to apply the conditional formatting to the entire row in that table, we have to change a couple of things. Let me go back here. Instead of formatted column, let me comment that we are gonna use now the entire table set and we can call it RNG and that's gonna be the used range in the active sheet. Then we need to delete the conditional formatting in that range. So let me just change this here. And the value reference now, it needs to have the absolute column. So it needs to be actually $C1 so that the column is not changing, but the rows are changing. And to get that, we need to change this to true because the first parameter is for rows and the second is for columns. This is very important. If you don't change this, you will not get the conditional formatting for the entire table. Then down here, instead of with the formatted column, we have to say now with the range, the entire range with data. And the rest remains the same. So now we can run the macro, and as you see, we get conditional formatting for the entire table. And if we add a new user and we add it to one of the classes, we're gonna get also the conditional formatting because we have added conditional formatting to the entire columns. And you can easily change that if you want over here. And that's how we add conditional formatting to one column based on the value on another column in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.